Hey, Charles Palmateri here. It's Monday. Monday morning at 11 o'clock. That means... Neighborhood Logic. Neighborhood Logic. Rated R. <laughs> I love it. Rated R. Rated. You want it rated R. Neighborhood Logic, rated R. I'm back with the girls. Catherine Laducci, Tara Connors Tracy. Here they are. Here we are. Here we are. And uh, before we get into the questions here, I just want to remind you, don't forget... Uh, I'm going to be at the Paramount Theater, Paramount Theater in Huntington, Long Island. We are going to do a special taping there. You've got to come and see this. If you want to be part of history, come and see the show. Uh, January 29th. Is that a Sunday? I think it is a Sunday. It is a yes, Sunday. Yes, it is. Sunday night, January 29th, 2023. 23. Wow. Wow. You got to come and see it at the Paramount Theater in Huntington, Long Island. Special taping, be part of history, folks. Uh, and if you want to come and see my other shows after that, charlespalmentary.net. Check it out and go to my website. You want to buy merchandise, say this thing in life is wasted talent or cards or photos. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, please come and uh, see the show, sign posters and everything. So, here we go. Here we go. Don't forget, if you have any questions, because Neighborhood Logic are rated, is taking off like crazy, and please, don't hold back. Am I right, ladies? And we shouldn't hold back. We shouldn't <laughs> hold back. No. No holding back, Catherine. No. No. No holding back. This is, Tara. we're censoring too much with the censorship. We're, sorry, we're a little censored, but let, let them decide if it should be censored. We're not going to censor. We're just going to say it the way it is. All right. Um... Okay, who's this? Hold it. Let me read. Okay, so she obviously she didn't put a name down. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I don't want to read everything here. Da, 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 da. All right, making love, making love to my husband. When we make love, I fantasize about someone else. Is that cheating? All righty. Um, <laughs> all righty then. And, and all righty then. Uh, um. She wants to know, uh, you know, it's always sex always gets involved in everything, right? Who said that? Was it uh, Sigmund Freud who said it's all about sex? I guess so. Um, is that cheating? I mean, if my wife is thinking about someone else when we're making love, my answer to her is, you know what? Let him ask to pay the mortgage, whoever he is. <laughs> That's what my answer is to her. Go find your fantasy lover. Let him pay for the college education. See how that happens. Hey. No, I. You know what? I'm not happy about it, but uh, I'd rather she didn't tell me. And if you know, I don't know. I, 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 I gotta, I gotta hear more opinions about this. Before Did you ever I, do that, Kat? Did you ever sleep with somebody and think of somebody else while you were doing it? Yeah, <laughs> me too. <laughs> me too. And it's and to me, it's like I would never. It wasn't something I did in reality. But I also wouldn't want my partner doing it. I don't think I was in love when oh, I Oh, wait, it. wait. You know what? She said, but I would never, did I say that? But no. I would never do it in, I would never really do it in reality. That's a go. There okay. Go. So no, it's not cheating if that's what she's asking. That's a safe cheat. Um, I don't think I, 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 I did do it, but I wasn't in love. But you weren't in love with that person. No. That's why you did it. Yeah. So you needed that for a little juice. Yeah. You needed that for a little juice to like, no, I'm, what am I saying? You needed that for a little juice to get off. Yeah. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Am I You're the one who said you don't want us you to said don't hold back. back. All right. She complains that we hold back. You, she no, complains no, we don't right, hold back. He's right, he's right. Oh, my God. All right, because if you didn't do it, you'd still be there making <laughs> love. Yeah, but I hold love. back. You don't hold back. No, that's no, the way but, it goes. No, listen, well, you'd be still, you would have been still there making love, waiting, if you didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay? All, All right. right, how about you, so, Tyler? Yeah, what about you? Yeah, what about you? I have done it, but I wouldn't want my partner to do it. You would? Whoa. Wow. That's what kind of shit is that? Yeah, that's what kind of whatever, shit? That's you kind have of done it, but you wouldn't want to. What kind of bullshit answer is that? How's that helping bullshit. this poor guy? That's not help no it's her. A woman. It's a woman. Oh, she does it. Oh, it's she a thinks woman. about another guy. I fantasize about another guy with my husband. I would never do it in reality. So? Okay. So he can't do it, but you can. Yeah, duh. You know what? You were born. <laughs> <laughs> the, you the, should have been born a guy. I know, in the wrong era, too. You were, born in the wrong wrong, you were born in the wrong era, and you were born without a, you know what I'm saying. 
Mm. And if, you should have had that because next, next. <laughs> next. <laughs> All right, you Re read the one. Yeah, yeah. I wrote them down over there. Which, right. which is, what is, what is it? There's a lot of these. I want to get a good juicy one. Okay. I believe my wife fakes orgasms just to get it over with. Yeah, just to get it over with. Mm. I don't. I have the question over here. Okay, thank you. I believe that my wife fakes her orgasms just to get it over with. Do you think that I should confront her about it or should I just let it be? I don't want to ruin the relationship and she might also take offense to it if she hasn't been faking it. What do I do? Help. Forget it, I think. Are you having a good time? Is she really? Is she faking it really good? Then leave it alone. No, I don't think leave it alone. I don't think leave it alone because that's his, that's his, intim that's, that's his moment too. And I would want to know if somebody was faking it with me. Okay, it's say she. Okay, say she's faking it. And she says, "What's she going to say? Yes, honey, I'm faking it. You're a fucking. Even if she ooh, lies you're boring. to him, even if she lies to him, it'll <laughs> it could help. And I'm being honest. I think he should address it. Well, these people are asking us all these questions that they really should be talking to so, their significant other about. Well, I that's say the idea. It. They feel funny about yeah. it, Tara, and they want to speaking to us about it. I say. What and sometimes you don't want to ask your even your best friend stuff like that. It's uncomfortable. It's an uncomfortable question. It's maybe an embarrassing yeah. question or whatever. So, yeah. I'd say, um, I don't know. What do you say? Answer it. I say address it. Listen, he said, he, what did he say? I'd make, she would take offense if she wasn't faking it. Mm. I mean, you should know the sound of, you know, some, uh, you know the sound of how your partner Climaxes. I think some That's moment. That's the sound of the train working on the train. train. Yeah, no, and then know. we went into song. Um, I think I would address it. You I would, would address, address it. it. Okay. I would want to know. I would get offended. Maybe I'd be like, well, that's, you know, I'm loud or I'm this. That's who I am. But. Well, if he thinks she's, she's faking it, I mean, usually you kind of feel something. Maybe he's sensing something. You know, maybe she's got to fake it better. I don't know. What do you want me to tell you? <laughs> and then you fake go, it till you make then it. Then you take an acting fake it till class. You make it. <laughs> fake it till you make it. Next. Next. Okay. Yeah, uh, you see, read the next one. Go ahead. I'm gonna read them all because we wrote out the. I wrote them from the emails. Go ahead. Duh. Do you believe in taking breaks in relationship? In relationships. Well, that's that's not a relationship. That's just uh if you got to take a break, then what the hell are you guys doing? You know, that means you, you just have a buddy that you sleep with once in a while and you take breaks. Well, if you're in a serious relationship take and you're a fighting a lot and you say, you know what, let's say, my girlfriend once said this to me, I'm going to take a break. I said, you're 41 years old. Where are you taking a break? If you can't, <laughs> you can't take a break when you're married and you have kids together. You, then this isn't the person you should be with at 41. If you need to take a break, forget it. Forget then. it then. It's not, that's it. There's no breaks in real life. What about you? Break? I disagree. I feel like if you could, if you, you take a break, it, it's like, you know, you see things clearer. Once you take yeah. that break, you see things a little clearer. It's like, you know, you get in the helicopter and you go up and you go up and you see more and you see more and you see more and you see more. When you take a break, you pull yourself out of it and you could see what's really going on. Okay. And if you want to see you. Hey. Very profound. <laughs> yeah, but now, here's From my home. thing. You take From a break, home. you take a break, but then what happens during that break? So usually... If there's a break and then you're with somebody else and then you want to go back to your partner, I couldn't get past the fact that you'd be with somebody else during our break. Uh, yeah, but you know what, Tara, in, in defense to her, I remember a shrink saying that when you and when if a girl or a guy says to you, I want to take a break, uh, sometimes she's right. You got to clear your head and say, uh, because only two things could happen when you take a break and they're both good. One, you realize when you take the, when you took the break that, you know what? He's not for me. Right. Or I'm not for her. Wow. Or, you know what? I miss him. I really love this guy. I'm going to make it work. Yeah. I think you're leaving too much room for other stuff to come in. Oh, she was, I'm a no-break girl. Something. I'm too hard. She, she's too hard. I am too. I am. Jesus God almighty. I yeah, am. but sometimes you might oh, even go on a date, and that'll really make you run back and say, wow, I had it good. I'm... This is crazy. This this made me realize I love the person. Yeah. I don't know. If you need to be with somebody else to realize you should be with the other person, you shouldn't be with them. You're sure not, you're not everything social yes. and you're sure your name. Be, I'm gonna be Kitty. You're sure your name is not Tommy instead of Kara? <laughs> I was supposed to be Tommy. Well, and you're I ready? was a boy. My mother was naming me Thomas. Oh shit. Donna? Thomas. 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 All right, Thomas. Oh shit, go. man. All right. All right, yeah, you read another one here. 
Do you think you can fall in love with more than one person at a time? Yes. Do you think you can fall in love? In love. Yes. <sighs> Two things could happen at one time. This is coming they from the woman. True. This is coming from the woman who said, "Once I fall in love, I'd like to believe I was enough." I know, but 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 but. <laughs> but, but, but we, we but, were talking about cheating there. Like in other words, what if I'm I'm in a I'm in the dating zone? Like I'm in the dating. That's where I area in my life. Like I'm dating. I'm not mm. engaged or married or anything, and I'm dating. And I meet this guy. I meet Bob, and I go, "Oh my God, I'm crazy about this guy." And Bob is still dating other women. He's not ready to settle down, but. I kind of fell in love with Bob. But I go, all right, well, he's dating over there. So I'm like, well, screw you. And then I start dating uh, somebody else. And I'm like, wow, I feel crazy about this guy, too. Like, but I'm is young. it love? But, right, but is it love? You can feel crazy what and you, lust. Can't you love a couple of people at one time? In love? In love is the in question. Love? No. no. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I always believe you get three great women in your lifetime. That's it. You know the story. Yeah, all right. I don't know. I don't, I don't. I think you could be in love with one person and in lust with the other. That's a good point. Yeah. You know. And you I was going to say too, if you are in love with two people at once, how would you choose? Well, I think if you're if you think you're in love it's with two people love. at the same time, then you you should get a, a, you have a little problem and grow up and decide what you want to do. Really, grow up and, and decide what you want to do That's because a tough love. it's it's this it's. I'm sorry. You could be in love and lust. You can be in love with somebody you don't like, or you can not like somebody, but you're in love. I mean, it's crazy. When you talk about love, love wills you. You don't will love. That's the deal. I love chocolate and vanilla ice cream. <laughs> Are you in love with the ice cream? I'm Is in love with chocolate and vanilla. If you had to pick one. You would pick. I guess I would. You would, what pick, would you pick Vanilla. I would probably pick chocolate. Right. Ooh. Yeah, she would probably pick chocolate. I probably would. Are we are we saying are, are we saying something here with this chocolate and vanilla? I'm just curious. No, <laughs> we'll get into that later. Yeah, let's get into it later. Okay. Next, next. next. All what right. Do we got? My wife is an actress. All right, on a soap opera, and more recently, she had to kiss and be involved with a very good-looking man who I know she is attracted to. It bothers me. Am I being dramatic? Well, she, she's, wow, look, she asked the right people this question. Right, yes. Look, I'm rolling up my sleeves for this one. Well, she's an actor. Mm-hmm. And uh, you knew, I mean, I'm sure he knew what he signed up for when he married her, mm-hmm. that she was an actor, unless this happened lately. I don't know. But she's kissing another guy. Uh, look, my wife has seen me on the screen kiss other women. Mm-hmm. And How did I, she react to that? She was okay because I saw her on a soap kissing another guy. I did. And you didn't bother. It didn't bother you. Uh, I looked at it. It was kind of like weird. I, I let's put it this way. I looked at it once. I didn't have to look at it again. Okay, wow. fair you enough. Know, I, didn't, I didn't want to go. All right. Well, let me look at this every night now. You know, I looked at it. I went, yeah, all right. She, you know, she was young and okay. That's cool. Uh, but I, I don't think you should get a divorce over that. He didn't, yeah. What he was, didn't read that question again. My wife is an actress on a soap opera, and more recently she had to kiss a very good-looking guy who I know she is attracted to. It bothers me. It bothers well, me. She's, a, divorced she's me. attracted. It bothers I mean, me. Am I being dramatic? Well, these guys on the soap, they're so damn handsome, you want to kill them. Yeah. You know, they're so freaking yeah, handsome. Yeah, soap opera actors. So, but she doesn't, she's not going to leave you for him, and if she does, you know what? She did you a favor. That's all. What could I say? I mean. The cat? Um, I could see it bothering somebody, but you knew what you were getting into when you met. He knew what he was getting yeah, she probably into was. when he met an actress, and that's just go all part of it. And maybe he should reevaluate, you know, you know, like how he looks at her job because that's yeah. part of her job, and but, she can't she can't know that because then it's she's not going to go all the way. She's going to feel like he's yes. in back there. And it's going to interfere with the work. It would interfere with my work. Yes. If I had my husband looming, like, give me elbow room. I always say, give me elbow room. Stop being in back of my shoulder watching what I'm doing. Because yeah. it interferes with my work. Right. So get over it. Next. No, no. I, I, had, I, I, did, I did a play once years ago. And I remember the girl said to me, she goes, look, my husband comes to every show. And I said, okay. She goes, he doesn't mind me kissing you. I said, all right, fine. She goes, but no tongue. And I said to her, I said, I said, uh, I, I, I'm, I, I'm sorry? 
She said, no tongue. I said, so you want me to kiss you in no tongue? Have you ever tried to kiss somebody with no tongue? It's impossible. It looks right. like a 1940s movie. Yeah, no, right. that's then you, you have to do with closed mouth and just go. Yeah. I said, we're in this, we, I was a football player. We're in this passionate relationship and we, it was just this. So it was very, I got to be honest. And I was like, yeah. this is really uncomfortable. Well, didn't it make your job hard as an actor? Totally harder. It interfered with the art. It interfered with the art. First of all, the play sucked. It got canceled right away. It got shut, shut oh, down. Oh, shit. All because of a kiss. No, it wasn't because no. of the kiss. It wasn't a great play. Uh, and But it was like, I'll never forget that. I, it was like I had to kiss her with this closed mouth. And uh, I don't know. The, First of all, to tell you, my husband comes to the play every night. Every night, she said. I don't need to know your personal business. We're working. Yeah, I mean, I was 23 years old, so I was young. So if it happened now, I would. But when you do a love scene or something, Catherine, uh, do you, when, let me ask a question. Do you, do you people, just tell the people like that, we don't get sexually aroused. I don't. No. You're thinking about your lines. And there's a million people around. Yeah, there, everybody's around. You're thinking about the lights. Is the light <laughs> hitting me this way? The director wants you to turn this way on this line. Yes. Now, I mean, if, you, if you're alone in the room with her and you're making out with her, that's different. Right. But when you're doing it. A... But there are people who end up falling in love. Brad Pitt, Angel Jolie. Hello. Yes. Well, that. You yeah, fall but... on love on set. A lot of people do on location. But you but said. On you, you... set, not necessarily during the sex scene. But maybe they were, you know, after, the, after they did the scene, maybe they said, hey, let's have dinner tonight. Now. That's where they fall in love. Well, maybe that's what bothers the guy because you know when you're really... He said she's attracted to him. Yeah. So maybe he knows it could keep going. You know, when yeah. you're attracted to somebody, sometimes it just keeps going. So maybe that's what he's worried about. Okay. Next! Next! So we don't, we don't think he's being dramatic. No. No. But, yeah, but you should be... As actors, you have to understand... You, you want him to understand it's, it's also work. It's work. It's work. And you got to see that as long as your wife is there for you and she's acting the same way and she's, she loves you and she's there, it's fine. She's coming home late. She's coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's I couldn't coming date home an late. Actor. A little drunk. I couldn't date an actor. Where were you, honey? I was with Blaze. You know, I mean, <laughs> then it's like, then you got to think about it. You couldn't date an actor. No, I couldn't date an actor. We know this about me already. I think for a few episodes and everybody knows. We know. You're hardcore. I'm hard. I'm too hard. All right, read, All right. Read, read the rest of it. I have a good one. What, what, John? Okay, this one says, My girlfriend recently bought a dildo, dot, 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 but it wasn't for her. She wants to know, I mean, she wants to try pegging, but I don't know if I'm all that into it. Do I take a chance or try it out or just tell her no? Do you know what pegging is? No. Uh, just so happens that I know what pegging is. You didn't know what tea bagging was, so I'm excited about I this. didn't know what tea bagging was. You describe it together. Yeah. <laughs> well, pegging is when, um, <clears throat> how can we make this? Clean. Clean. It's not. It's R-rated. It's R-rated. Just pegging is, is when a woman straps on mm -hmm. a dildo, and she tells the guy, you know, <laughs> I'm your daddy. Uh, you know. <laughs> she, who's, want, your daddy? who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? I want I'm your daddy in the sizzle reel for this. <laughs> who's and, your daddy? Yeah, I mean, and she said, who's your daddy? I mean, that's what that is. Now, uh, have I heard of men doing that? Yes. Huh? I have. And I knew a guy who was a straight guy. Uh -huh. And he liked it. He was not gay. Uh, he just liked it. And he just... You know, it was it was like another part of foreplay for them, and I said, D "Don't you feel a little like, you know, like I don't know?" And he said, "No, no, it's it's great." And I, I said, "Cool, you know, I mean, I'm not putting the guy down or putting anybody down for doing it, but um, I don't know. Where's the question? I yeah, went off what on. is this? So he says, "Should I try it, or um, do I take a chance and try it, or just tell her no?" I don't know. Once you go back, you never go back, as they say. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> I, I just came up uh, with that. Once you go back, you, you never, never go, go back. back. <laughs> once you go back? I don't know. That's the name of this episode. Is once you go back, you never you go never back. back. Uh, I mean, yeah. It's... You know what? Give it a try. You'll know right away. <laughs> I, can't, I don't know if I could tell somebody. To, I mean, I think exposing yourself to anything new, you could find out if you like something. If he's asking, he might be semi-interested. Well, she's to asking. Think if we're good. Yeah, but he's asking us. So maybe he wants to see if we think it's judgmental. I think, like Chad said, and, and this probably an older guy, it's more common, again, than we think. Yeah. Just because it may not be my forte. Kat, would you strap one on? 
<laughs> no, that's not for me though. And I don't, I don't, I don't judge it though. Right. Just for me. Right. I like chocolate and vanilla ice cream. You may like strawberry. Right. I would not be strapping a dildo on anytime soon. Okay. Next. All right. So you try it. I think. <laughs> and I, I think back to us. She bought it for you, so she did buy it for you. Right. So she, that means she really wants to do it or try it, or maybe Ooh. all due respect to you, my man. Maybe you gave her a little <laughs> hints, you know, here and there. <laughs> Maybe, you know, maybe you walked around saying, uh, oh, honey, uh, let's make love, but let me be on the bottom. Let me turn over. <laughs> Once you go back, you don't go back. We would, as they say, as they say. I don't know. We say it's not a deal breaker for either one of you. That should not be. Yes. Oh, that's what I say. It shouldn't be a deal breaker either way. Yeah, if that's you, not a deal breaker. If you don't want to do Try it, it or if she wants you to do it, either way, it's not a deal breaker. Try it. But have a conversation with her about yeah, it. Yeah, talk say, about it. Feel it out. Have fun. Just you know don't what? eat the night before. But <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't eat anything with beans. Yeah. Don't Enemas. eat beans or Enema. anything. Any gases. But do I, us a favor. <laughs> don't, you don't want no gases. Don't eat your chili. Don't eat the chili. She don't makes eat her chili. chili. I made turkey yeah, she chili makes chili. Don't do eat Tara's chili. chili before. But we want to hear. Well, we have one more. Wait, hold, it's did not he, our did he leave his name? No. no. He didn't leave his name. Thank God you didn't because you'd be outed all over the place. <laughs> no. But no, you wouldn't. Never. We, don't, gonna, we don't give up names. No names, but no email. We want to hear from you what happened, what did you decide, and how did it go? Was it like great? Was it like, are you her daddy now? We don't know. But let's find out. We like to hear. We like, I like to get a... A, re a response from that? A response from yeah. this Yeah, one. we we going to do a follow-up. Don't forget, yeah. Chaz Palmetary Show at gmail.com. Send in those questions and responses to our questions. Yes. What do we got, Catherine? This one, I'm um, Tara. <laughs> uh, Tara, sorry. <laughs> sorry, he's drinking too much wine now. All okay. right, no. If this one wasn't R-rated, but I liked it because uh, it says, if you are dating someone and you do not like their parents, would you take it to the next step? I'm going to say yes. Yeah. Right away, I feel yes. But you don't like their parents, but you don't care. I don't care. I like him. I mean, that's... Maybe it'll come like I mean, in the future. Not liking over. the parents is, you know, that's a hard thing. When you know what they say, you marry a woman, you marry the family. Or the same with the man, yeah. Same with the man. Uh, I mean, but, but Catherine has an interesting point. You know, you could get to like him. They could get to yeah. like you. Yeah. You know, I, I don't know about that one. I think it'd it's be not important really R-rated, but it's a good question. It would be important to find the root cause. Like, why don't you like them? Yeah. Listen, family. Especially Italian families, right? It's, you know, holidays. It's Right. It's like I have two yeah. sides of it. Like, one is, at the end of the day, it's, you know, you and your 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 mm. partner. You're the one who's got to pay your bills. You're the one who's got to... You know, wake up in the middle of the night when the baby, you know, is crying. You're the one who has to worry about your mortgage or this, and not anybody else. So it's, it should be about you too. Hmm. But then, in the same respect, these are your holidays. These are all your, you know, yeah, for Italians, your Sundays, your, you know, these are yeah. the people you have to spend quality time with. And to me, as I get older, time is my biggest commodity. I want to spend time with only the people I want to spend time with. Right, but what about, you know, it's true, but what about, you know, you have Christmas. What about, because you love your mother, you love your father, and if they don't, if she doesn't get along with them, that's it's a problem. You, that's a problem. You're stuck in the middle, Catherine. I, we'll work it out. Then you go see your parents. They don't like me. It's okay. It's chill, cool. I'll go visit my family. No, you can't do that. All right. I don't think. Well, you guys are so no. like different and certain, so many different things. It's amazing. What I Why am I going to ruin the love of my life because his mother don't Agreed. like me? Agreed. Agreed on that point, right. but it's still going right. to cause no, issues. Right. Oh, Just, we're not going to be together yeah. and right. ruin everything we have because your mother no, doesn't right. like I me. would say move with move with caution. For, continue with caution. Proceed with caution. Proceed with caution. There you go. You got one over there, John? Do you have a question over there? Uh, I'm out on my end over here. Uh, okay. We're good. What do we got here? That was it. That was all the ones I wrote down. That was it. I, I think that's it for today. Yeah. All right. Well, look. Hey, That's, was that a full episode? That was a full episode. Wow, yeah. I These mean, go we, by quick now, look, guys. Don't forget, Charles Palmentary Show at gmail.com. We want to hear Neighborhood Logic R rated questions. R rated. R rated. If, R -rated. It's, if it's a regular question, then just Neighborhood Logic. Not X rated. Not X rated. Not X rated, because we don't do that. Only R rated. R rated. We want R rated. We want to say thank you so much for 
talking to us. We want to wish our friend who's involved in the pegging, God bless you. And uh, <laughs> we're interested to hear what happens. We want to hear. And you know what they say, once you go back, you never go back. Anyway, so. Uh, and and maybe if the pegging don't work out, they well, could get, we could get them in touch with the guy with the small penis. <laughs> oh, Jesus <laughs> <laughs> and he could use it. And he could use it. Yeah, you know what? If you were dating the guy with a small penis, <laughs> it'd be okay. You know what? He would say, He would say, you solved the problem, babe. That's right. Right? So anyway, oh, this is going bad. All right. This All is right. going south. This is going south. Don't forget chargepommentary.net to see the show, my show. Don't forget the Paramount Theater, uh, January 29th, uh, 2023. That's a Sunday night. In Huntington, Long Island, we are filming the show. It's going to be filmed. You're going to come, be part of history, come and see the show. God bless you.